Hey everyone, this is your Raven's Voice host, Zealous, here to drop some news about the upcoming release, Armored Core Verdict Day on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Brand new highlights for this title include new story and missions, over 100 new parts including weapon arms and shields, a total of 56 maps to battle on, revamped parts with a renewed tuning and upgrading system, a setting for players to take in-game screenshots of all the action, a revamped conquest system now called World Mode, a system that will allow players and teams to earn special medals for their efforts, as well as a function for operators to control AI units. Verdict Day launches September 24th for the US and September 27th in Europe. Keep your bookmarks locked on facebook.com slash armored core for more information and updates. Welcome to another edition of The Raven's Voice. This is Tiersen, and with me, as always, is Zealous. Hello, hello. All right, so we got a couple uh, couple really cool things going on here tonight. Uh, the biggest of which, and we've been getting a lot of questions about it since we announced it earlier this week, is our Armored Core Verdict Day giveaway. Uh, we're going to give you some trivia questions tonight, and uh, we're gonna, you know, we'll talk about all that in the second half of the show. Uh, but, you know, I had a lot of questions about that. A lot of people wondering how that's going to go down. So how are you doing tonight, Zealous? Can't complain at all. Uh, pretty pretty geared just to uh, get some of the material we have here um, out and just uh, lay down some of the community notes that we've been saving up for this week. So You can't complain. I can complain, though. <laughs> I I have to... you, you're, you're, sitting, you're sitting there in a sea of boxes again, for goodness sake. Yes, not even three weeks later, I have to move again. This one's a permanent one, though, so it's there you uh, go. There you go. Well, at least for the foreseeable future. But yeah, this is pretty annoying. I, I was supposed to be here no less than three months, uh, between three and nine. So you know, it was a full move, and then they they're like, "We're gonna get you out of here." So uh, I'm moving already. It's very annoying to have to do this. What this will be <sighs> yeah, between packing. And then you know, loading everything up, and then unpacking, and then I have to do it again. It's just yeah, it's, it's really annoying. I don't yeah. know if we had to do that, but it's at least so close to each other. But it sucks. I don't wish it upon anyone. Uh, anyways, enough of my complaining. <laughs> to that um, okay, so let's do the usual uh, the usual plugs for the beginning of the show. Um, let's see if you want to comment on things for the show. We always have a dedicated topic to it at our dedicated forums at ourrecordlegacy.com. Uh, we also want to get your emails. That would be at ravensvoiceacl at gmail.com. And I was going to have a new one this week, but I failed at Facebook. Uh, this week uh, this week, I posted up uh, a link to our Facebook page, or at least I thought I did. Um, what it actually is, that is, uh, that is, the link will take you to the... Uh, identity of the uh, of the Facebook page not the actual page itself but the the person I had to create to create the page for for the Ravens voice so that is wrong so I'm not going to give that out uh, I am looking to fix that because Facebook is very stingy when it comes to changing your changing your URLs changing your usernames so uh, yeah a little bit of a fail on my part there I, I'm quite embarrassed about that actually. <laughs> That's uh, I, I use Facebook for a lot of things uh, for companies I work for and such. So I'm a little surprised that I did that. But anyway, so not Facebook, not this week. Um, let's see, main things that we're going to talk about. Uh, I talked about a little bit already. We're going to have our uh, verdict day giveaway, our trivia. We're going to talk about that again in the second part of the show. Uh, a couple things I wanted to hit uh, before that, though. Um, you yeah, know, we have uh, what is that? Two weekends from now. Um, a little bit more than that, about two and a half that. weeks. Two, two and a half weeks or so, we're going to have uh, the Armored Core, Armor Core 5 Exhibition Weekend 2. Yeah, right right on the way. You know, we uh, we were talking about this last show. It was funny. Right as we uh, were getting things posted, you know, Chang had already gone around and uh, done the promotions and some of the other sites. So we technically weren't first to put things out there, you know, for the announcement because that's been posted. But uh, yeah, this is right down the pike again. Uh, it'll be an AC5 exhibition similar to the uh, first one that we had. 
Uh, those of you that uh, made it for PS3 side, I had a blast. Uh, came in and just ran all kinds of designs, team battles, and uh, uh, battle royales, and you name it. So uh, remember to keep your eyes peeled for that. You know, check out the event. It's posted on many, many spots. Pretty much all the main outlets you can look at, and just uh, keep keep an eye out for it. And I, I I brought this up last week. Um, you know, we we had a dedicated channel going. You and I did for it. It was actually we were. If you listen to the first podcast that we did, it was actually focused mainly on that event, and uh, so we kind of listed it as you know the podcast channel and such. Uh, are are we doing that again this week, or not this week, but with this event in a couple of weeks? Yeah, for the event, you know, it, it started as a bit of a spur of the moment thing. Um, <laughs> we had a lot of questions when the first exhibition was happening, especially because you know Cheng's rooms were filling up so fast. Uh, we uh, dedicated a room to the uh, podcast channel, and uh, I think so. Uh, I think that's just kind of something we established uh, on the fly there in the spot, but I think it's going to stick. So uh, I'm totally down for it, as long as you are. I, yes, yes, because when you and I are in a team, I can hide behind you. <laughs> yeah, I noticed, I noticed this week, I get called out as a bad player. By, uh, what was it, were we uh, checking out forums, or just... Yeah, in the forums. Um, God, who was it? I forget who it was, but they said, they said that they saw videos of me and that uh, that I'm not very good. So, well, I'm trying to see where things were pulled from. Um, the it's, the first tournament, not, or no, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure okay. where okay. you ever saw the video of me playing. I I haven't taken any of myself from AC5. He, uh, but yeah, I know he said he said it uh, basically that I wasn't a very good player, and um, you know I think he was watching videos of you. But, <laughs> um, why 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 you gotta, why you gotta do that? You know. I mean, I, I thought I was thought things were good with this whole you're, reversal you're thing being set, me. but <laughs> no, you know, you know what though, he, he's not entirely wrong. Um, you know, we've talked about this a little bit. Out of all the, out of all the AC games I've played, and I don't count four. I've played four, but I didn't fuck four. So um, we don't count that. But uh, you know, I I have spent the least amount of time and just practicing and playing verses with with AC five. Uh, I love I love AC five. I love the mechanics. Um, you know, I wish I'd had more time uh, to to spend on it. But in comparison to you know like AC three and all the yeah. games there, and I mean you know we were all those tournaments, and I won a couple of them from time to time. Uh, definitely, definitely not the case now. Um, I no, I'm not very good right now. So uh, I, I'm going to change that with verdict day though. I think I think all of us can say we we got plenty to work on in our game you know <laughs> i mean uh, ac5 is you know near the we're at the very very end of its cycle now and you know i think coming into it with just a few months left I mean, that there's been a lot of saturation a lot of exposure okay a lot of things already hashed out so you know coming in late kind of comes in a bit of a minefield for things you know but um yeah I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to say i got plenty to work on myself so with uh, verdict day this is a definitely a new shot for those of you who've been out of ac5 a while if you feel that you're a little rusted you know hey Get back into it, you know. Put your piloting gloves on and just uh, run at it with all you got. Yes, yes, definitely. More people that are coming back or new people that are coming into play, definitely give it a try. Uh, you know, don't let uh, don't let these vets and these people that like to run their mouth don't let them bug you. <laughs> uh, which, I, ironically enough, is part of what we will be talking about tonight. But um, you know, I'm not, not going to quite get to that yet. Uh, you know, we were talking about the giveaway. We're going to have a trivia later. I also want to remind people there's just a couple days left. For the Armor Core Legacy giveaway, uh, that is going to end September first. So this is very easy to enter. All you have to do is go to ArmorCoreLegacy.com, register for the forums, and then just post. That's it. Just you know, just participate in uh, in uh, conversations going on there, and there's plenty of them. Um, but there's only a couple days left. I, I can tell you that. Uh, the amount of posts you have to have is less than 20, but I'm not going to tell you any more than that. And even that said, I'm still surprised that there's still so few people, considering all the people that have registered in just the last month, that there's still so few people that are uh, that are going to qualify. Actually, I'm drawing for it. Yeah, you know, we're we're keeping a, we're trying to keep a close tab um, on that number and uh, just you know, looking at not what's being posted only, but you know who's who's getting put into this pool. And uh, again, you know, it's random. We, we can't release uh, those notes and the exact figures and the numbers that'll be out there. But hey, you know, anything you want to weigh in on, you got an opinion, feel free to, you know, come on in and just post for it. I mean, hey, why not? 
you know, post, yeah. posting, getting the topic, you know, get involved, get her into a free drawing. So, or you could try and win the night, see what happens there too. <laughs> we'll have that going too. I mean, shit, you get two, get one for you and your friend. There you yeah. go. If you're like Zelda, you don't have any friends, then you just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, that's a whole different story, you know. I mean, then well, I don't know. Maybe go sell one on eBay. Yeah, we'll look at yeah. that later. Kind of funny news over at uh, ACU. Somebody even posted that that's their intention. They're going to try to win so they can uh, sell. Ah, no, no kidding, no kidding. Because they don't play the current arm record games. Like, come on. You know, you saw this happen more with uh, some of the other consoles. You know, you know, when PS3 came out, you had a lot of people um, grabbing consoles up and then reselling them on eBay for high prices. They knew it would be an item in demand. I've seen this a bit for FF14 as well. You know, Realm Reborn just launched, and that's a big uh, talk in the MMO community. But uh, for AC, for AC, though, that's a it's a first. First, I heard somebody want to do that. I had forgotten about that. Uh, people buying the PS3s and then reselling. Oh wow, yeah, that's yeah. me back. Those were ridiculous. weren't those like two thousand bucks or something like that? Uh, you know, I can't remember the exact markup, uh, but it sure was a lot worse than the list price. Uh, Which a is lot. Bad to begin with. I, I mean, yeah. Normally, you'll get a at least a double markup for things. Uh, you know, pe- people were paying. There were a number of people that profited. You know, people would pay at least you know a G, or drop a grand on it. And uh, it was it was a hot item. It was a hot system. So uh, you know, here we are. We're about to go into a new new generation of consoles. Obviously, you know, this fall season. You got PS4 and Xbox uh, X Bone. Some people call it on the horizon. And um, people I, do they really call it X Bone? Some people call it X Bone. Oh, there's a little bit of you know stratification here. Uh, a lot of people call it the original Xbox Xbox One. I know I did. You know, and now well, we have a, the next console will be called Xbox One. So some people have just invented a different you know namesake for it we'll see if those sales or the the ebay switch game uh mirrors what we saw on ps3 or not i i don't know i kind of doubt it but we'll see since you're, since you're bringing up all this xbox and uh, playstation trivia why did they call the xbox 360 do you know besides the besides the naming convention i'm not sure that's something i'm ignorant of so if somebody wants to school me go for it yeah yeah tell us because i always kind of wonder i always thought that was kind of stupid <laughs> Yeah, so I, let me know. By the way, I'm I'm feeling like an opinionated asshole tonight. So <laughs> let's let's have fun with that. You have been warned. You have. I am grumpy. I'm very grumpy because I have to move again. So, um, so maybe I'll just keep this copy of Earth Day for myself. <laughs> yeah, just just hog it. Just go plug it up. Uh, get another PS3. Plug it up in another room. Do what you got to do. Hey, I know. I, I know the answers to all the questions. I could win this right Ooh, now. This guy. This this guy. You know. Man. Right. Okay, so there is there is one more thing to announce uh, before we get to the topic of the night here, and that is, you know, we discussed it a little bit. In fact, I, you know, we kind of played around with the idea of it last week just a little bit. Um, you know, we we had a you know over at ACL we have meetings every week and we talk about it a bit. And um, you know, I I'm not going to give you too much specifics on this yet, but you know, if you if you remember how I used to do these things uh, back in the day. Um, I would give you many, many months' notice for an event. And uh, I'm just going to announce tonight that officially coming out of retirement, as far as being uh, an event coordinator, um, I will be putting on an event sometime in the first quarter of 2014 for Verdict Day. And that's, uh, that's all I'm going to tell you about it right now. <laughs> I know we're going to see plenty of... Uh heads up like little promos and whatnot coming out for i'm, I'm kind of geared you know i uh last like i said the last event i attended was uh she ran i think it was say cmm4 in uh janesville so and now here is, we, that's what i ran yeah it is so you know here we are with verdict day in an online environment uh looking forward to see see what comes of it what you do with it cheng cheng does a lot of cool stuff and uh, you know i really when it comes to these events and tournaments for for our record it's something i'm really into i i think that putting competitive events out there and events in general for uh, the player base is a good thing. It, it really gives them focus uh, on on what they can, what they can be doing. You know, it's one thing to just kind of screw around with Armor Core and, you know, maybe you know, build some ACs and test some stuff out, but you know, I, I really think it's a lot more fun if you have uh, if you want you can, you can have an objective, you can have a goal. Um, so outside of that, I'm actually, one other thing I'll tell you about this event. Um, it's it will not be a single player tournament, and that's that's the only thing. It's they they will be group coordinated in in some way. So uh, I, I wanted to put something on. It's going to be a little bit different, and so this this will be team play of some sort. 
Uh, okay, so uh, the main topic of the night, which actually I think the trivia is the main question, but or the main topic, but <laughs> pretty much. Um, you know, I this is something actually. This kind of came out of the blue. I was thinking about what the topic could be for this week. Basically, tonight is uh, you know we're talking about the community again, which we do a lot. But uh, a lot of this came, you know, a lot of this specifically is about um, positive and negative reactions to to things people do, and uh, you know, to themselves, but mainly in large parts of the community that itself. Um, you know, I, I think the most obvious uh, example of this is. Uh, and I, I saw this was referred to a lot. And actually, when I first when I first came back to the AC community, I, I actually did see this a bit myself. Um, was you have the veterans of the of the community of the Army Corps community, and then you had a lot of new people that came in with this current generation of games, be it four, four answer, or five, and how hostile I think in large part the uh, the veterans of the community reacted to them. You know, uh, this is a point we've we've highlighted a number of times, and some of you know, even the staff com- conversations we've had, uh, you know, this, uh, I'm reminded of the term, you know, the names like, you know, new fag and things that came up. Um, it, a lot of this streamed from this next generation, the next gen systems, you know, in AC4 and uh, 4A and AC5 going on for the online environments. And, uh, it, it things, things had drastically changed. You know, a lot of people, especially even on AC, a number of spots have noted, you know, this is not the community that like I once loved or that I remembered. And I think a large degree of this, too, was there were a lot of people that were just kind of disillusioned um, when uh, Next Gen hit and things had changed just so radically. You know, I mean, the it wasn't just the forums, but, you know, it affected the, the tournament communities and it affected, you know, people who uh, play competitively, non-competitively, posted, I mean, you name it. Uh, uh, looking at that and what we're dealing with now, you know, we, we've often referred to being in a semi-dark age, okay, for uh, interaction. And where we're at, and there, there's there's some sunspots in there where we're coming out, you know, with things and some of the forum initiatives we have going. But uh, uh, but still, it's a bit more of an acidic uh, environment. Things are uh, definitely more critical now uh, than than they were, and I think there's a lot of factors to to point to for this. Uh, it, it's difficult to pin it down to say, oh, that's the reason or that's the exact cause. You know, it, it's funny because you you say that everyone was disenfranchised and disappointed with what had come. Uh, nobody should have been. I'm, I'm just I'm going to point this out. I was the doomsayer years before it all came about. Uh, you guys yep. didn't really call me Jacko for that. Um, we talked it, to an MSN about this too. Well, uh, a couple years a couple years before it all happened, I you know I said, hey, look, you know, I mean, they they just announced it. They just announced the PS3 and the Xbox 360 and Armor Core was going to be on both. And uh, you know, I'm like, this is gonna this is gonna fuck everything up. Yeah. <laughs> And what he wanted to hear, and it was like, oh, no, it'll be great. It'll be on two systems. I'll bring in more people. Yeah, it'll bring in more people, but you're still cutting everybody in half. Yeah. And, and no one, well, I'm sure some people saw that, but at the time, you know, I just felt like I was arguing against uh, everyone about this topic. Uh, and, you know, it, like you said, it screwed up events because now you have people on two different systems. And, yeah. and and then there's even the question of if LAN events would still be supported, which they were for the first couple. Uh, five is the first one that they're not. But um, you know, but then even still, you you, you can't hold LAN events with that with two no. people you know, on two different systems. And I mean, how are you going to do that? It's impossible. It's you won't. And, so you know, it's it's a shame that those things happen. But honestly, you know, I I guess part of my question would be. Do you you know? Do you think people were more hostile because they were so upset with what AC4 was, or do you think that they were so hostile because you know you're entering into a new new gen system? You have a, not just one but two of them with the addition of right. the X. You're bringing in a lot more fans. Do you think that uh, AC community members at the time were more upset because of the game that they got, or because it was actually bringing in a lot of new people and who were enjoying oh, what they? Wow. Were- yeah, I mean, I, I think it's interesting. You know, there's shades of gray here. You have, I think, a combination of factors. <laughs> a bit, a big part of this too, along with players, okay, coming into into the community and uh, the way that changed was, I think, this new formation of foundations you had here. Okay, naturally, you've got a 360 side and a PS3 side that's going to form. That that's inevitable. So, in the first place, you don't have this same line of communication. I think there was between 
players who played on like PS2 or PS1 when AC was all at one spot. You know, that kind of harkens back to our title, you know, for this episode, the It Takes a Village idea. You know, it felt like that. I think we've made this this very same illusion before. You know, a lot of the things previously discussed in the AC communities, especially about uh, gentlemen's bands, part bandits, uh, what have you, you know, they were really centralized spots. We met and discussed those things. And then those topics fell further down to kind of like the village chiefs, if you will, <laughs> of the different forums or the other different communities like the, the California side and then the Midwest and whatnot. And then we hashed things out from there. And, you know, we... Uh, we ended up crafting some really interesting niche groups, but that weren't cut off at large from what was happening here. Okay. Well, but, go I ahead. Can add on to that. Yeah. You know, in, in fact, you would have people who would come up with uh, obscure events and obscure rules, and they were yeah. met with with silence. The, the people would. It was almost like people would just turn their back on them because they because it wasn't something. You know, the the rules would be very obscure and very odd. Yeah. And, and you know. People just wouldn't want to support that because when it did come to bands and when it did come to you know the general kind of rules that we that we followed as a community again it, it was a community thing it was very much uh, things were very uh, un- unanimous at least as much as they could be in that kind of a situation. Definitely, um, yeah, I'll agree with that. No, no, and going off that as well, uh, it it ties back into this idea of this this rift that happened, just this formation of. Uh, really new identities, you know, the the rules, quote unquote, some of the unspoken things we had there before, like how we, you know, uh, commune and speak about different issues or bring topics up, that that center point wasn't there anymore. You know, each side kind of formed its own, you know, new center point. And not saying there wasn't discussion in the forums about the game in general, okay, how the mechanics work and how uh, things are, but they, you, you definitely, uh, you had a bit of a branching point. I know, um, Myself, I, I tended to keep up with the series on PlayStation. <laughs> it's because I'm, I'm biased that way. I always believe you know, this is where AC started, and that's just traditionally where I've always followed it. Um, and I, I'll be the first to say, you know, I I did not have a very strong grasp at all of those uh, really active in like the Xbox community and whatnot and everything that was happening there. I mean, I think part of it you'd have to really play it and experience it. I think it's one thing to read it on the forums or to read about, okay, this is happening, this is happening, but you really didn't have a true idea unless you were playing, really seeing what was being run, what were, you know, the different things being brought up and the different styles. That was uh, that was part of the gulf um, in a way. And But it's so unfortunate because it's, you know, it's unavoidable. It's just the nature of the beast and it's just how how the release went down, period. Is what we had to deal with. Yeah, I guess I think for me, and I've seen enough of it since I've been around uh, with AC5 because I, I mean, I really started paying attention actually a few months before AC5 came out. Um, that's when I started paying attention to the forums again. And, you know, I, I guess I think the shocking thing for me was that I never expected, and maybe, right. not, may, maybe I, I was naive for thinking this. I, I guess I never expected the. Uh, the at least older members of the community to, to react the way that they did to newer members. Uh, it, it was shocking to me. Uh, mainly because, I mean, you know, for years, you know, we fought to build the, you know, the community that we had. And every new person was, was a great new addition. Well, most of the time. There was always a few people that, and, well, okay, maybe we can do without that guy. But, um, you know, we never... You know, there. In, in, I don't want to. Show, you know, I don't want to put some kind of, <clears throat> you know, beer goggles on this or anything to make things look better than they were. There. I mean, there were always assholes. I, I mean, you're listening to one right now. Um, but you know, there were there were always people that treated people poorly. That you know, that that didn't care. That uh, social graces didn't exist. And but I mean, at the level that I that I saw, you know, looking back at forums from years ago. And the kind of things, and, and just all the people that that have been around since that time to now, and they, you know, it's unanimous. They all say the same thing. It's like you know, there was just a point where the you know the old guard wanted nothing to do with the new guard, and just to a very volatile point. And I, I've always been really shocked by that. And, I, and so again, I you know you you've been around for a good amount of that, so I was just kind of wondering. I mean, how much again? You know, I'll ask again. How much do you think it was because they were just frustrated with the game, or they just didn't want to deal with all these people that were liking this new game? I want I want to say, okay, I'd want to say it's frustration with the title itself, but I I know that's I know in my heart that's I don't think that's the case at all. 
Um, you think it's a bit of, a bit of both? Yeah, but but I also think it went beyond this option A or B camp because uh, there there were still some shades of gray operating here. You know, I, I think a good deal of that uh, polarization formed from uh, veterans separating into different circles. You know, um, I mean, you you also had and you still have, for that matter, you know, veterans poised against each other. Some of them defining you know their own notions of what it meant to be skilled uh, at AC and labeling you know contrasting viewpoints is irrelevant. You know, one thing I don't claim. Uh, you know, a canon holdover was, again, I played, you know, I played through four and FA, but I was not a, uh, you know, super, super active part of like the forum community during that time, you know, posting. I was there, you know, I, I watched things, but on a contribution level during that point, no. So in terms of that, that's why it's kind of hard for me to read that area of it specifically. I think I'd have a, I think I'd have a stronger idea if I, had more of a focus at that time on those specific regions of the forum. But, um, you know, I, I think a lot of the sentiment speaks a lot. You know, Griffin has noted, noted this too, uh, you know, over on ACG about just the change in styles, that there is a frustration about a lot of incoming players only caring about the win. I, I want to make sure this make a distinct difference here. This is, you know, going for the win is not something that just came with no, the new guard. it isn't. This, this is a huge misconception that I will always try to put light on every single time I can. Go for it. When you had events, when you had tournaments, you know, the, the old veterans, again, they say what they want to build, you know, build to be unique or build to be, you know, cool design. Bullshit. They would come to these events with the best oh, uh, they could. Yep. And I guess for a little bit of clarification, at, you know, when the, the new gen councils came on, Armored Core 4 came out, um, I was actually, I was, I was a bit long gone at that point. Uh, you know, I, yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't leave the AC community because of what was coming. I had actually, I just, I was very burnt out. I put on four, four successful events. Uh, you know, I created a forums that uh, for the Midwest. It, it was for anyone, but it was focused on the Midwest. I, you know, and just I'd been working on all these projects for. Uh, for years, and it just kind of felt like, okay, you know, I don't really think there's much more I can do here. Right. Um, I, I'd had I'd had my fill as far as you know, putting on events and you know, helping the community. Um, I didn't just leave though either. Uh, you know, you and I spoke at length, and you held two events after I did, and uh, you wanted to take the mantle for running events, and I was more than happy. Uh, I know I was reluctant, uh, but I was more than happy to find somebody that was willing to do it. Um, you know, and I, I left uh, moderators at the forums and such, and I was like, all right, guys, you know, I'll stop by every once in a while, but, you know, I'm, I'm out of here. I just, I had done what I'd done. And I bring this up because, you know, when thinking about this topic, there, I, th I think there's three main things to think about here. You know, when it, when it comes to community, uh, there's, it, I think everybody's responsible for it. And that's, you know, that's, that's why I have the title for this week's, which is that it takes a village. You know, it takes a village to raise a child. And I, I think in this point for the community, it takes a village. It takes the community to, to keep things going and keep things running well. And I, that's why I kind of wanted to highlight you know, what had happened then and what actually took us into, into the dark ages of the Armored Core series. Because I think that has just as much to do with AC4 as it does the reaction from the community, not just to the game, but to each other. And I, I really think that they did a great job of taking a downward spiral into <laughs> what we've agreed was, uh, you know, surprising that it ever came back from it. Yeah, you know, about this descent, okay, this notion of, a, you know, descent into a darker age for the community. Um, I think we were, we were right in the cusp, you know, to see the onset of it. You know, like you said, you had, you had stepped out about the time things kicked in and um, while, while I was here, you know, like I said, uh, being, being as, as prominent, like as, as active on the forums that I, as, as I was during like the PS2 era, I mean, that wasn't the case. So, um, there's some people and we have some members who were, and I'd actually, you know, I'm going to be interested to hear some of the responses out uh, of this one to what was the perception in large to what contributed to, I guess a lot of the downsides and a lot of uh, the attitudes, you know, I, I get, I get the feeling that a lot of people are going to have different things to say. Um, and I, th that idea again of taking a village, well, it's going to be a, certainly a village of perspectives too. Um, you know, while we can say it'll be, you know, a mix of a few factors or this thing or this thing, it, I, I don't think uh, it's limited to that. And I'm very interested to hear from uh, any of you who especially had thorough forum experience at that time. 
uh, what what you were dealing with. You know, what was not only your perception, but what were you actively seeing, both in game and posted. So, like, you know, I was saying that I think there's three main factors to this, and there's, uh, I think there's the responsibility of the community in general, um, and then I, I believe you have the responsibility of, you know, major public figures in uh, in the community, and then I think finally there is there is a bit of responsibility, and this doesn't get talked about enough. I mean, we we harp on this a little bit, just yeah. I think it's a little bit of a hindsight situation, but there is a responsibility from the game developers, mm-hmm. and. You know, I, I bitch about that a bit. Uh, not so much nowadays, although Namco did not release all the patches for Armored Core 5. And I, I will also bring that up every chance I get, too. So, <laughs> um, you know, so I, I think these are the three key factors to this. And I, I definitely think that what we were talking about here uh, definitely goes into the worst that we've seen, at least from the community in general. Um, and again, the word general, we are generalizing here, but yep. I mean, there's definitely enough evidence to uh, to show that, um, you know, there was definitely a lot of negativity back at that point. Not everyone, but yeah, so, you know, I mean, you have those three key factors, and I really think that uh, that's where you, you will find either a lot of overwhelming positive or a lot of overwhelming negative. And once again, I just want to point out that's why I wanted to start a topic with that was that, you know, when, when you come, when you get to, you know, maybe probably the the worst time as far as the community and and the effects of uh, of what the community is doing, I, I think that definitely is uh, is right there. And you know, but I, I want to you know, I, I don't want it to be all negative though. I mean, I, I think prime example of just the community in large um, doing a positive thing would be you know building you know the community building itself up to the point that it was with uh, with AC three up to Last Raven. Um, you know, very, very small um, and built itself up person by person, uh, very grassroots in, in that regard. Um, but there was just an overall feeling from people that, you know, we, we want a better community here. And people started holding events and they were... Um, well, you know, kind of picking on this idea of uh, you know, the, the three main contributing factors we have here, but what kind of helps swing things to a more positive direction, okay? Uh, you know, a large part of this, obviously... Uh, you know, was was due to um, a good you know, segment of this community that said, you know, well, you know, we want, we still want to preserve this thing. We we want this thing to be here. We don't want this to, uh, you know, completely crumble. And um, we've even now, you know, today with a lot of the things we have, you know, we have a ton of members who have uh, really come forward, which is various projects. You know, it doesn't it doesn't always have to be a, a huge forum initiative or something else. It could be just you know, simple projects. You know, I mean, even now. Some of the things we have, like uh, bringing back the AMV competitions. I mean, that's things like that are so cool to see and get people involved in a fan side um, of AC that isn't isn't always present, you know. But I I think that's the good part in this about uh, just like the vibe, even through everything that happened with the release or you know things being rushed, that you still had um, a good segment, even even for competitive events. You know, now that we're forced online, but you still had that a good segment of people that help form the basis for creating these venues you know I, I think a lot of this this silence uh that we had in some of the earlier days uh when you know going into forum and whatnot was a lot of these groups are trying to figure out how how's this thing going to work you know obviously things have morphed things have changed uh you know what exactly uh are we going to have this become you know what are we going to do with it but uh from where things were and from i think where things have walked and where they've come now uh, there's definitely a noticeable transformation here, and it still shows you that there's plenty of people willing to be involved in it. No, I agree completely. You know, I, in my opinion, you know, whatever dark days that there was for this community, uh, I don't think we're in them anymore. Um, I think things are definitely in an upswing, and I think they will continue uh, in and through Verdict Day and into what I'm assuming will be called Armored Core 6 on the PS4 and possibly uh, the Xbox. So, no, I, I definitely think that we're, things are in an upswing. Um, you know, even for all, it's kind of it's kind of funny, actually, because, I mean, considering where we are in the lifespan of AC5 and moving into Verdict Day, things are a lot more active than I expected yeah. to be, um, you know, and, which I think is great. And I hope that we have some uh, something to do with that because that was part of the point of the show and actually releasing and starting the show when we did. Um, you know, so yeah, I, I think it's great. You know, in particular, and I noted this earlier uh, before we were talking uh, before the show is that uh, you know, our record legacy. I mean, the 
you know, we, we obviously help there and, uh, and do things there. And part of, part of the point of the show was to help build that up. Um, you know, I, it's something that you know I was keeping track of was the amount of people that were joining just in the month of August. Huh. And in my, I had an initial idea of doubling down on Chang's, uh, Chang's giveaway that he's doing. Uh, if we could get a new person to join, at least one new person every day this month, which didn't happen, but only because we missed really just a few days. But, you know, it, it also didn't happen because... Uh, it would be impossible to keep track of that without, you know, you know if I announced to people, I'm sure some people would like create multiple accounts and, and such. And, and, you know, I, I didn't want to put anything in that kind of position. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, we, we've we had, you know, ACL for where the game is right now with uh, with AC5 and everything. It's a hell of a lot of people join uh, just in this last month. It, it's been great. And, you know, I think that, I think that is a testimony not so much to ACL. I think we gave them the platform, but I think it's because people wanted a place to go and you know kind of get away from everything that that had been. Right. In a new place uh, where there's a lot of a lot of activity, where people you know they're you know in particular, a couple of people had joined the forums and said, oh you know, hopefully this doesn't turn into a flame fest or yeah. troll like every other place. I uh, I don't think it has at all. It, it's um, you know it's kind of funny because. You know, Couple of our mods are are actually very nervous about that, and there there was a case even today, where he was like, "Oh, you know, I think I'm gonna have to lock this topic." And I'm like, "No, no, 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 no! Don't lock the topic. Let me look at it." And you know, I'm like, "No, just let it go. Just yeah. let it go. It's fine. It's fine." They're they're very worried about it, very apprehensive because of what they've seen in the past yeah. in other forums. Um, you know, and I'm not worried about it. And he's like, you, "You're just not really worried about that at all." I'm like, "No, no. Why would I be? I, you know, because I I think if you give this community the appropriate platform, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not going to go the way that it was. And I, I, I like to yeah. think the Armored Core Legacy forums is doing that for people. You know, a key with that too about helping provide the platform, you know, even, um, you know, with what we do here. Yeah, that's that, that, that's a small part of that, okay, but obviously it's all it's all community driven in the end, okay, you know, and it's, it's what uh, it's what the player base uh, will ultimately contribute. Right. And, you know, um, we have this like apprehension about threads and, and that that does point back to something that i i have seen that i believe is fairly unanimous you know it's, it's this sense of uh it's this this tiredness you know a lot of people have noted well you know man i played ac this long and you know i i tried to come out with these things and, you know and i you know i tried to note this stuff and it just didn't come off right or i was met with i was met harshly about it and ah man it's just not worth you going for it but you know um i think just giving someone an environment and say no you know hey you can state your opinion, you know, uh, you know, state those things you have to say about the series and deal with like-minded people on that level that will help you articulate those points without turning things into a flame war. Um, that's the fun in it. And whether we do that through uh, the medium of audio, whether that's through, you know, just posting on like a forum or a BBS, I mean, so be it. But it's it's all part of the same current that we're trying to help foster and trying to help create here. And I agree. In fact, I, you know, when... When we kind of went public with ACL, um, you know, we, people, we're, there was a couple posts about, you know, expectations and, you know, we want this to happen, we want that to happen. And I posted, you know, I want you guys to fight. I, wa yeah, I, I want you point. to fight. And I want you to talk about stuff. And hell, if you got to call each other a couple names for it, too, that's fine, too. Just, you know, the, the line is there's one thing when someone is just, you know, they, they're a little fired up and they're getting a little. Uh, excited, and they may say a couple off-color things, but they don't mean anything by it. And then there's that, and then there's yeah. when somebody's just being an asshole, and they're, and they're not they're not trying to ups, you know. There's a difference between someone who's just you know maybe calling you a name or something in the heat of the moment versus someone who's just trying to make you angry, who's trying to piss you off, and that's the distinction I make. You know, if, if somebody's here and they're just like maybe they throw out one or two off-color comments okay that's fine that's not what they're that's not why they're posting that's not what they're about at the moment but right. when it gets to the point when somebody you know they're posting because they want to piss you off <laughs> they're posting because they want to call you names that's the difference and you know that's and that's how we ran things at a3c you know yeah. we didn't have a set of rules it's like look you you know what you should and should not be doing you that's know simple. you know the difference and you know when you cross the line, that's when we'll step in. But until that time, 
you know, manage yourself because you're, you know, you're big kids. You know, you, you know what you're doing and you know right from wrong. And it's, it's that respect, that, that initial notion of respect to, I think, trust uh, players to operate, you know, in, in that regard. You know, usually, you give, if you give the reins like that and if you have the very, very simple notes like that up front, you know, people people are usually pretty decent about it, you know, and, and take things well. And, you know, going forward with it, uh, it's it's definitely a hope that ACL is, that can become a part of this, okay? Just a, you know, a, a piece of this greater puzzle, uh, you know, spots that we have. Because obviously, you know, we're going to have our various, you know, communities that exist, but uh, we really want to keep this whole train of, you know, the general uh, bit of an awakening that's happening. You're, you're going to have it when a new AC comes out. You know, there's always more of a buzz then. But uh, it's not just about keeping a positive vibe because of a release. It's about trying to keep good, solid, active content, active topics, and pertinent things that AC players will enjoy, whether that's talk, talking shop or just straight out debating uh, how something works in mechanics. So. You know, and I, I have no doubt that there will be a point where there will be a couple flame fests and people yeah. will really start going at each other. This is going to happen. Yeah. And I have no point, or I have no doubt that at some point, one of us uh, over at ECL is going to have to ban somebody. It's it's just it's just the nature of the beast. I hope it never has to happen, but I'm pretty sure eventually it will. Um, you know, but yeah, we're that's the whole thing. Is you know, Zellis summed up like he usually does. I'll go on for ten minutes, and he can sum it up in one sentence. It's, it's about it's about respect. And when we talk about the positive and negative and the repercussions of actions in the community, just you know, when it comes to the community in general, the community at large, just keep that respect. That's that's yeah. really it's, it's really as simple. And if you do that, I mean, this you know it, the upswing that we see is right now is just going to get better and it's going to grow more. And you know, I really think that what we have here could end up being bigger and better than anything we had in the past. So by all means, you know, uh, just keep the upswing and just just uh, you know keep the focus going with that. Also. Uh, the reason why I think the idea of you know just respect resonates a lot is I know when I first started posting AC forums there wasn't this notion of well you know I do I have to have a video illustrating that you know I can pull this certain trick or I'm this certain way or I have all of these huge credentials behind my AC plan no I mean it was coming and talking about AC in a spot with like-minded players and discovering things too you know and sometimes being called out on those things you know and it's important too within that respect to be willing to be wrong you know, and say that I'm not this great teacher of AC, and I know it all, and you can never call me anything. No, I mean, we're going to have our slips. I have my slips, you know, plenty of them. But the cool part is when you can be, I think, part of an environment where you can get called on that stuff, and you can move forward in a constructive way to kind of mold that and, and to correct those things. And really think about your playing, too, on how it impacts it. That, that's what I always enjoyed about uh, posting and whatnot. And I'm getting, I'm, I really started to get that same feel again. You know, it's not... As much about me bringing, you know, I'm a stream monster. You know, I'm this and that. Ah, check this out. You know, no, I mean that that's not part of the equation at all. Uh, you know, we play, we jam, we have fun with it, and you know, we debate and discuss it. So, going today, I finally got the chance to really just sit down and read uh, the thread for the uh, for the Ravens Voice Show from a few weeks ago, where yeah, we talked yeah. about the drivers and such. Um, you know, there, there's two. It, it seems like there's two distinctive things that people have to remember here. Uh, I mean, there are those that that can analyze this game backwards and forwards, and that's great. I, I hope every great Armored Core player can, to some degree, do that very well. Uh, but there's those that can, that can pour into those numbers and articulate uh, the mechanics. And then there are those that can't do that so well, but yeah. they're just really good natural players. And I, I noticed in that topic that there really was a distinction between several people that were posting being either A or B. And, you know, a, a lot stood out for me on that topic. Um, you know, and things did get a little heated, a little. You know, it, it was kind of funny early on. We had a couple of our mods just like, hey, guys. <laughs> yeah. Settle down, and I'm like, no, they're fine. No, let, they me, let them go. But um, you know, it's uh, you know, at the same time though, it's just people. You know, one of, probably my favorite thing about this community is that you know, people feel passionately about this game, and but they they're people from all walks of life, and they're people that approach yep. this game differently. And a, a lot, something that cleric was saying 
um, really hit true for me is that you know you can have a lot of different opinions about how this game works because it's not just about the numbers. It's also about how you play. And I mean, you know, when you're talking to something like just you know when we were weighing the the numbers and crunching the numbers for the pile drivers, it was uh, you know it's very mathematical. There's there's really we didn't really give anything that you could dispute. You have this defense, we use these weapons, this was the outcome. And there, there's a couple of the things that can play, go, go and play there, but we were just testing out the basis in it. And a lot, of that, a lot of that debate ended up turning into how these weapons are used and the skill of which that, that comes with it. Yeah. But that's not what we were testing. You know, and, and so, yeah, go ahead. No, no, no. You know, there, there was a key difference, too, we had in the past when we really started to talk about some of the serious numbers behind these parts. You know, I... Uh, what immediately pops in mind was the discussion on Raven's Haven about velocity. Okay, back in the older armor course, we did not have a stat that said bullet velocity, saying you know you know how fast this round would travel. I mean that that was a arduous project that was usually calculated by multiple members of the community that would get together and test and run these numbers very very carefully. And it was great, you know, they be people would pour out charts over this stuff. I mean, I think it's it's just fantastic any game you can get like that where you can get that deep with information and uh, pour out of it. And that, that kind of became a canon, right? That became a, uh, a canon reference, in a sense. But we have so many of these things revealed today, like velocity and whatnot, that you no longer need those specific mediums for those kind of things. So um, some of the discussion comes down to the simpler parts of... Uh, mechanics like a defense is like the attack power of this weapon as opposed to defenses what's the diminishing return uh you know what is what's certain uh what feels like a break point you may hit you know uh at which point you know is this impact uh your ac things like that you know and it's interesting to see that turn where the technical discussion is taken you know I, most of the as you're saying most of the debate really came down to um how they're used how things are played and most importantly uh what are the actual facts behind these things hitting? You know, I mean, we have to look at that. You know, can they can they really do some of these things we're saying? You know, and what is the whole notion of saying is this is this weapon too powerful? Is it not too powerful? Where does it say it, we had all those all those different things thrown around than that? Well, and yeah, I, I mean, and in our testing, it never came down. We never even questioned you know the player behind the weapon, and that's kind of the whole point. That's that's not for us to test. That would be impossible to test. And so, I, I guess part of what I'm saying is, you know, when you have these discussions and you have these debates, I think they're great. Yep. Uh, but you know, you have to keep that in mind. Some you know things could have turned ugly in that thread, uh, and it wouldn't have been too hard for them to get to that level. But, and, and I'm glad they didn't. I enjoyed it. As much as it felt like my eyes were bleeding by the time, I was, <laughs> because there was so much there, um, you know, I I enjoyed it. But you know, you gotta remember that, guys. I mean, I mean, this this it, it really is all subjective. As much as I even hate to to say that in a sense, because part, so much of what I love about this game is the fact that it is. It's about the numbers, it's about crunching numbers, building building a better AC. But it it's it is so subjective to your play style. And, you know, a couple people were trying to chime in and say that. Uh, and I think that needs to be remembered in these situations because we do have some people who got very upset from that thread. And, you know, it, as, as much as you may know about the game, that is an X factor that will always exist. And I just, that needs to be remembered because it, it's a huge one. It is. Um, the heart of Armored Core essentially, you know, has come down or historically at least, came down to customization. You know, it was about building this avatar, in a sense, of that was reflective of so many things. You know, your, your, your play style, um, you know, what your combat philosophy was, all that was represented in your AC. And ultimately, the way you piloted said AC. You know, you could have had one intent, but if you were using it a different way, <laughs> that entire design would express itself in a different manner depending on how it was piloted, you know. So there's... Uh, there's always room, and there's always, I think, variables within that. I know I've been constantly surprised in the past with certain weapons uh, or things that, on paper, might not have seemed seemed as good or from the way I used to use them. I'm saying, oh, I can't see how someone would really take that and make it effective, but it's been done. Uh, and it's been done time and time again. And even though we have things that have become more concrete with Armored Core 5 and, you know, going forward, um, I'm really hoping to see that type of innovation uh, going forward and people uh, really finding ways to build into their play style and express that. 
So, you know, I, I guess in that point, I, I again, I, I love that thread, and uh, I'm looking forward to more of them. In fact, that almost yeah. makes me just say horrible things on this show so that people will talk about yeah. things. Or, no, 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 but um, or, of course I wouldn't do that, but trust me, I, I will say plenty of horrible things without even trying to <laughs> go on in the future here, but, uh, you know, just... Just keep that in mind. There, there's, you know, there's always going to be a factor to whatever you're talking about that that's going to be different from what you have, and that is how people play the game. And that's just going to be there. And that's part of the beauty of this game that you can have. You can put two people behind the same AC and get different results, and that's that's part of the, you know the beauty of it. That should be respected. That shouldn't just be respected. That should be appreciated, in my personal opinion. So. Yeah, you know, I, I, and I want to sum up this subject. I want to get to the. I want to get to the second half, and yep. I'm sure most of the people do too. He's like, "Come on, shut up, Tearson, and <laughs> cheer me off, already. But uh, you know, a couple, a couple other factors I want to note about this. Um, I, I think part of the reason why we are seeing a such a stronger positive upswing, um, I, definitely, uh, Namco uh, is making their presence more more known in the community yep. than a previous uh, developer or or uh, U.S. porter that we've had. Uh, Age Tech. A- AS, uh, ASCII and HTEC completely silent. Um, and again, I wasn't around for for Sega and Ubisoft. I think I remember hearing a couple things. Oh, you know, they they tried. And again, you know, having a forums for you know on your on your website for Armored Core does not count. But that, that's you know, if you're not doing anything there, if you're not helping in any way, that does not count. Um, you know, but uh, Namco Namco's sticking their nose in there a bit, and maybe that's not yeah. so much. But for those of us who who are you know putting on some things like a podcast or are trying to build a, a really good website for the community, they're 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 mentioned, and they're mentioned by saying you know they they have questions and we're talking about things. Um, they, I think we're going to see. I hope we're going to see some really cool things from them, and I think uh, I think in some ways that's felt a bit. It is. Uh, I know, at least for me, there's always a certain buzz when I see a developer weigh in on AC. You know, normally, obviously, it's from software themselves that we see a lot of news from. But uh, to see to see publishers themselves, I think, getting involved, uh, I'm not used to it, obviously. But uh, you know, there's there's lighter things. You got like the E3 interview, or you know, certain trailers that are translated, you know, into English at good speed and whatnot. And uh, that, that that's sharp. You know, even the fact that if you want to, you know, pre-order Verdict Day, that Namco's making sure that you get the same package that the Japanese players do uh, for pre-order. It's it's little things, um, if anything, and that, I think, helps spur us on to say, oh, awesome, okay, well, the people publishing this obviously, you know, want to be behind it to a degree. It's not perfect, you know, we still got rows to go. Patches, patches, please. That's right, sometimes we don't get our patches. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, nevertheless, it's... It's pretty. It's pretty slick to see that you know involved in the you know stuff like the Facebook page and some form of social media you know set up for it. So that personal lets her there. goal, mine, by the way, guys. Personal goal: we get all of our patches for Verdict Day. Yes, yes. Please, please, please. And we'll I will yank on any chains I need to to try to make that happen. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. So. So I, you know, it, I, I have one more thing because this was noticed specifically. Yeah. Um, and, and this is actually something that I believe in. We've spoken a bit about this, uh, you and I, um, which is, you know, the responsibility of public figures in the community. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously a situation you and I are in again, uh, and so, you know, situations that you and I have been in in the past. And by that I mean, uh, you know, I some people who have a podcast or uh, from Chang uh, from Chang is definitely would be considered a public figure within the community um, you know uh, hustler one EJ EJ Raven definitely considered one uh, you know back in the day blight uh, you know runs AC garage uh, you know and, and, and the such I mean these are people that are that are out there that are putting things together for the community and are, and are in a sense public figure um, somebody called us uh, called the podcast uh, out on uh, maybe not being responsible enough in yeah. how we are handling something. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I guess honestly, uh, I'm just going to call bullshit on that. Uh, you know, this is something Zels and I have been around the block plenty of times uh, with this community and helping things out and trying to build things. Um, you know, we we there are certain things, and we made we were very distinct with each other on what we wanted to do with this show. Uh, this show has never. 
wanted to just be about one aspect of the game or the community or another. We, we try to go across the board and we never try to stand anything too much. Uh, we try to you know mix it up a bit. Um, I don't think how we, you know, and this was specifically again about the, the pile, uh, the pile drivers. I don't think that the way in which we went about the testing for that was unresponsible in any way. Um, again, and I, I apologize last week for the fact that uh, you know, Claire had brought up that he got and hit through uh, hit through a wall, and uh, we took that at face value. And if we were irresponsible in any area, it was that uh, which, we which did was not, noted, which was noted yeah. already. And and we did you know we did apologize for that. Um, again, it, it's not that we don't think it didn't happen. In fact, we took it for face value from Claire because we're sure we're sure it did, but we didn't test it ourselves. Yeah, the the eg the factors that contributed leading to that, or the potential lag spikes and whatnot. You know, so what so much of this comes down to again, we we said it time and time again is um, uh, the perception, you know, of issues. I think why th- that certain response was elicited from some players was because they believe that there's a perception, a persona that's that's coming off, or like the vibe that's being given from this topic, the way it's discussed, or what was said, representing said topic in an irresponsible way less than, you know, some of the technical details and whatnot. And, um, you know, hey, on the good side of this, I think it's great that we have people active enough and wanting to listen closely enough to at least want to engage on some things like this. Yeah, it, that is not, this is not lost on us at all, in the least. Uh, this is something we take very seriously in that regard, and it's not as much of a chance for us just to, you know, tap dance and just go off however we want. No, I mean, we we want to give as honest a representation as possible, but obviously we have certain experiences with different things. You know, it's, it's going to be so reflective. Um, and a lot of the topics we deal with, sometimes there's a perception. I understand that's, that's going to rub somebody the wrong way, but you know, uh, when we have those issues, when those things come up, so glad we can engage about it, you know, what, talk about it and go forward and just move what we have. So. Right. No, and you know, and, and again, somebody calls us out on something. I mean, we've been taking that since week one, and I'm yep. I'm trying to hear it. You know, they people just you know maybe they didn't like this or maybe they didn't like that. And at the same time, we've had people say, "Hey, you know, I love the show. Uh, I'm enjoying what you're doing." You know, we we take it all in. So if somebody wants to say, uh, you know, I don't think this is very responsible of you to do this, fair enough. That's your opinion, and we appreciate you giving it. Um, this is you know, I, I obviously said I disagree, and now I'm saying why. Um, you know, and I think that's great. But I, I, you know, we talked about this actually a little bit last week. But I, I, I want to make sure that that you know we're clear on this. That this this is an opinion show. We're we're here because we want to talk about the game. We want to talk about different aspects of the game, which is why we kind of hit everything. Um, you know, we want to plug events. We want to help. Uh, we want to help the community grow and plug events. Um, but this is our opinion. <laughs> and the, the the whole point the whole point is to generate dialogue not to create some form of, well this is the new canon and you know this is what we right. dictate things should be like it's to help create those very grounds of discussion that we don't always see happening in the forum and uh forums or uh among some of the social media and whatnot or just catching little sound bites of things that's the whole idea right. sometimes that's going to be positive sometimes it's going to be negative but hey you, thank you for the engagement period but I don't want to. I don't want to say all this and and not acknowledge the fact that you know. And, and Zealous said it. I guess I'm disagreeing a little bit. We understand that there is a responsibility to this. Um, you know, again, this is something that we've understood for years. And when when him and I spoke before, we even got the show back on before. Uh, you know, ACL went live. Uh, you know, this is something that Zealous is like. You know, we both understand what what it means to go back into a public role again. I I mean, I ran four events. I ran. Uh, pretty popular forums back in the day. Zeus ran two events. Um, you know, in, he helped. Uh, he helped with that same forums and three. was a huge, huge community. Three forum. and three and two you gatherings. Won, you won three. Oh, sorry, yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> just just that, putting it. I knew you had ACMA one and two. I didn't know you. Oh yeah, this, AC, our, I, went, I went to your first one. ACMA one and two. We had ROP one, which was just specifically held in Peoria, Illinois. It was a smaller event, and then we had a couple of gatherings uh, as well, yeah, just for people to kind of you know just come and play, you know, before a tournament event. I I can't believe. See, this is just me being old. <laughs> I was at that That's first good. one. You were. You made it. That's the funniest part. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm old. Forget things. <laughs> But Go ahead. <laughs> now, now that I can't be taken seriously at all, um, 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, no, we we understand the responsibility of that. So when we went into this project, we went into the Ravens' voice, we went into ACL. I mean, trust me, we we are full aware of the possible weight that could be in in what we do, and we also understood that there could be absolutely no weight in what we do. So yeah. uh, the fact that people, if you, if you find any credibility to us at all, especially at this point. I question that a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> but no, uh, in all sincerity, thank you. Uh, you know, we, we're just we're trying to do a fun show. Yeah. Uh, you know, we. You know, and we, we're just trying to give a platform for the for the community. And honestly, I mean, get send in your emails uh, or anything. You know, we this is here for you guys to to listen to and hopefully enjoy, but at the same time to give you a platform to to reach out to other members of the community as well. You know that. That being said, finally on the on this topic, when it comes to public figures, I mean, this is actually at the same time why you heard me do what I did a couple of weeks back with uh, with EJ Raven's event. I, you know, we, we understand that sometimes having a uh, an honest call on something or something that we've seen, it, it's it's going to create that type of contention. But um, at the very least, the points are mentioned, the points are known, and hey, you know what? For all those events that go for it, we certainly hope they take off and have plenty of success. And yeah. that, you know, once, as they get off the ground and they get posted, hey, right on. You know, get your members in, you know, have fun with it, you know, go join and participate. And uh, by all means, it's something else that helps bolster the community as a whole. So that's, That is the point of it. You know, again, that's the point of the show. And in that respect, we, we are trying to lead by example a little bit by that. So, you know, I, I say some off-color things, and I have a lot of fun with stuff like that. But at the same time, uh, those of you that know me uh, from years past know, and those that will get to know me will know that, you know, I, I say some raunchy and silly things from time to time, but I'm actually, you know, I, I have a strong, deep respect for for everybody, really. It takes, you know, I, I can end up having sure. respect for someone, <laughs> for sure, but, uh, you know, I, I, I appreciate and enjoy everybody that's around, normally even people that piss me off. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to get a hug or two, but, but before you get that, I think it's time for that, you know. That, that transition thing that you know you want to do that I'm sure a lot of people are waiting for transition <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I thought I heard something about uh, trivia for I know about I know. VD, VD. You know, being given out. I you're giving out a venereal disease. Is that what you're saying? Oh, you know, when it's framed like that, you know, you you, you know, you ruin all of it. You know, why you got to ruin the surprise? Man. Said you're giving out a VD. Hey, was... hey. So oh yeah, we'll take a break. I'll shut the hell. <laughs> Uh, Stay tuned. Stay yeah, tuned. Hey, welcome back, everyone. So, uh, hey. yeah, we're just we're gonna get right into it here, guys. Uh, you know, we went through a pretty long first part of the show, so we're gonna, you know, all we really have left on the agenda is the trivia. So, I'm gonna go through the rules, mm-hmm. and then uh, Zulz, he's got he's got the questions. Um, all right, so the trivia. Now, again, this is for to win a copy of Armored Core Verdict Day, uh, whichever region that you'd like, uh, be it. Uh, yeah, you know, and as well as being PS3 or Xbox 360, uh, this is not a collector's edition. So it's a standard, it's just a standard, <laughs> standard edition. Um, you know, okay. So first, let me say that the following people uh, cannot participate. That would obviously be myself and Zealous mm-hmm. uh, uh, from Chang and Cleric. Also, did help with the questions on this. However, uh, I do want to specify that the the moderators, uh, Avalon Five and uh, Revelin can participate in this. They uh, they were they had no part of this. Uh, this is, again, a distinctive difference between the show and ACL. Chang and Cleric helped with this uh, because they were there at the time. They were not. So, um, and going through some of our notes earlier today, I, I kind of felt like they felt like they couldn't because they're ACL moderators. Absolutely, they can. So, they, but, they, they wanted to see it. They... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, they were working and, on squeezing that out of me, but I made a note that you know the moment they see those questions before before we release them is the moment that they're no longer uh, able to participate. So, <laughs> so there you go. Okay, so 
Uh, here's how it's going to work. We're going to give you questions here. This will be posted at 9 p.m. Central uh, U.S. time. And uh, that's when this will become active. Mm -hmm. And from that point until the first person that can email us all the correct answers, that's how long this trivia will go. And again, our email address is ravensvoiceacl at gmail.com. So just answer us all correct answers, and the first person to get it into us will win a copy of the, of the game. So uh, this trivia is going to span across pretty much uh, all things Armored Core. I think there's a couple games that really don't get specified here. We had a lot of different questions. We narrowed it down to 10. Uh, but this will cover all major platforms, uh, the PS1, 2, 3, and Xbox 360, and we'll cover all games released on that. So PS, PSP versions, handheld versions, mobile game versions, Formula Front, gone. This covers AC1, Project Phantasma, Master Arena, AC2, Another Age, AC3, Silent Line, Nexus Nightbreaker, Last Raven, AC4, Four Answer, and AC5. But it will not cover the upcoming game that we're obviously giving away. Right. Okay, um, I think that's it. Now, we will try, we will try to let you know as soon as possible mm -hmm. if you've turned something in and it's not right. I was just about to mention that. Good, thanks. We will try to let you know. Um, I'm actually I'm moving here for the next couple of days, so I will not have internet access again until Sunday. So Zelos is going to do what he can to keep track of that. Yep. We will we will post at the ACL forums in this in the thread uh, over at ACL for for this week's show once somebody has won, um, and you know we'll go from there. But if we see no there's no winner yet, and you turn something in and you have the wrong answer, we will try to reply to say something in here is wrong. And that, that'll be the end of that. So, that all being said, I'm going to give it to Zell. He's got the questions for you. All right. Okay, here we are, people. Uh, you ready? All right, here we go. Question one. How many companies have published Armored Core in North America? Okay. Question two. How many story missions are in Armored Core for answer? Question three. How many Armored Core games has AC Valkyrie appeared in? Question four. In Armored Core 3, what is the name of the AC that appears during the mission where you can acquire the special stealth extension unit? Question five. How many Armored Core releases feature three companies that manufacture parts for your AC? Be sure to give us the company names and which game they're from. Question six. Originally hailing from Armored Core Project Phantasma, this helpful pilot's namesake has also been referenced during the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 era of the AC series. What is this pilot's name? Question 7. How many versus maps does Armored Core Ninebreaker have? Question 8. What was the first Armored Core title to feature versus team battles? Question 9. The final story mission boss from Armored Core 5 features a flight pattern that's reminiscent of another boss from Armored Core's past. What's the name of this nostalgic final boss? Be specific. And finally, question 10. What is the name of the Zodiac Operator from Armored Core 5? And there you have it, folks. There's your 10. Yeah, we had a lot of really cool questions, and unfortunately, as is a big debate in the community in general, um, you know, there there are not specific answers to some of these things, so it, it's kind of a shame. We had some really cool ones that we thought would have been a lot of fun, yeah. but you know, we uh, especially zealous. We we all put a little bit of hand in making sure that these had credible, solid answers. But um, zealous put in a lot of work on that too. So and actually put in the most. Uh, so thank you for that, zealous, no for problem. taking a large number of questions and narrowing it down. In fact, just before the show, we even went through these again. It's like, yep. well, maybe not this one so much. So um, I hope you guys uh, have fun with this, and good luck to everyone on, on that. And I think with that, you know, we'll just actually have a really small second section, and I'm just going to do the usual plugs. Uh, just go to armorcorelegacy.com, uh, become a member, uh, and join in on the fun. And, uh, you know, again, the, the email... Ravensvoiceacl at gmail.com, and I think that'll do it. 
right on. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, stay peeled. Keep an eye on the forums, especially for the winter verdict day. If you just want to sit back and watch, or um, you know, what are you waiting for? You know, if you're in this thing, go for it. You know, get in on the questions. Uh, see what you can go find and see what kind of info you can go mine and uh, dig up. But other than that, uh, we will catch you next week, same time, same place. And please stay tuned. Have a good weekend, guys.